Howdy folks, this week at Coffee and Tools, I've got a, I got a job for a frame job. <laughs> yeah, I, I got framed. I'm trying to put a uh, oil painting in this frame and the problem is really simple. The frame is uh, big enough this way, but not big enough, you know, this way. So what I need to do is on the back side of it, take an inch of material on both ends but this is not a framing shop, so <clears throat> we're gonna try to do it. Yeah, and I can see this, like I said, the metal staples are right in the way of where the blade would have to go through. So it's just gonna be that much harder to do. Should probably go to a frame shop and have them do it. Mm -hmm. But that's not how we roll around here, is it? <laughs> so, so. I'm going to try to figure out how to do this, and you're going to come with me today and see if we can really screw this up. All right. Yep. Well, like I said, this is going to be a bit of a screw up today, and because it's frame, and frames are frame equipment is very expensive. Uh, went ahead and ran this through the saw after I got it apart. They're held together with these little uh, pieces of metal that are used to hold frames together, little spring active kind of blades that they stick in a frame. There's all different types and this is just a, another specific type, but the uh, getting them apart caused a problem. So <coughs> I'll show you what I broke. <clears throat> yeah, as I got it apart, all this chipped out. So I've glued it back together for now. I'll have to touch it up later and I'll just see how much, how pretty I can make it after I get done. But uh, we still got another cut to go here. I've got this cut down the one inch. So now all I got to do is come back in here with the saw and up to there. And that'll uh, hopefully that'll give it to me. And I'll just run that through the saw. I'll have to run it against the fence, I guess, this way and cut up to there and see if we can just get that chunk out of there. The other problem I'm seeing is that, uh, I'll see, I'll show this to you guys, but. This is a frame and it's on a wedge, you know, so like you can see this is really, there's no strength left right here. When I get this block of lumber out of here, there's going to be very little contact left with this area. So I don't know if this will hop to glue and uh, staple it and just see if it'll stay together at that point because it's kind of weakened because of what I've done. But it was a basically a yard sale special frame. Very pretty, unfortunately, uh, not so much anymore. <laughs> but, but I'm going to make the cut here on the table saw, and uh, I'm using the new or the old new table saw because it can make the cut where the uh, tack knife has a problem. It has that uh, current kerf knife in it, which will actually hit the top of this and not allow me to make the full cut that I need to go through here with. So I'm using this old Craftsman saw that I'm working on to restore. I'll show it to you. Yeah, I should show you. I'm probably going to show you at this point a before and after picture of the saw. I've uh, taken the legs off, painted them, bought new uh, nuts and bolts, put the legs back together. It already starting to, it's starting to look better. The top still needs to be buffed up really good. This needs to be painted. All this needs to be taken down to metal and then probably waxed out. Uh, I redid the fence. So I'm really happy with the, uh, really happy with the way the fence came out. It, it, I cleaned it up and uh, gave it a paint job and it doesn't look too bad now. The just some good old rust oleum, you know, good old rust oleum paint, but it's a shiny, glossy gray. I, I'm doing gray because the original was black, and uh, I think the gray is a little more craftsman looking than the black, anyways. I, I'm surprised that uh, the saw came the way it did. We'll have to do a show about the, the saw because it's an interesting saw. It's a table saw, but it's 12 inch. Whoa, yes, we'll come back to that though. So right now we're gonna set up and try to run the the other this piece and see if we can finish the uh, cut on this thing. And I gotta get this all set up. So and this is the one. Yeah, it's gonna have to go through flat against the fence. So it's gonna have to go through this way. And I'm making contact with the bolt up here. So even when this is down, I'll be making contact. So this. Yep, we have a problem. Yeah, Houston, we have a problem. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're back. 
<laughs> I put this in because the rivet was worn out, so I replaced it with a stainless steel bolt and a uh, hex head, or hex head, a nylon uh, lock nut on this side for the time being, but that's going to interfere, so I'm going to have to come up with another plan uh, over time. This screw on this side is not a problem, but this nut even is too high for this, so I might turn around and take a nut that's uh, less profile, destroy the thread a little bit so that it locks sort of semi-tight, cut any extra off, and that way when I try to get by here, I won't be hitting anything, which is what happened just now. So, yeah, so at least we got that part figured out. So, the second cut for the very first time with this saw, and it has to go through this way in order to remove this uh, profile. And I'm just going to double, triple check to make sure that uh, that's what we want. I think I can come down just a hair. Yep. All we want to do is, uh, once the saw blade breaks into this space, obviously, you know, the cut is a done deal. But this is only the second time we've even used this saw because I'm not finished. I was restoring it. Hang on. There it is, and last, I've always maintained, use your safety equipment, have headphones on, uh, dust mask, uh, some kind of glasses like I've got on or whatever, use some safety glasses, but we've taken that whole piece out of there now, so on the one side, so this can now go back together, and like I see, it's really weak here now, but it should be all right. I think if we glue it up, we should be fine with it. I think before we glue it though, we'll check with the painting that I'm putting in here, and just make sure that it fits because sometimes a dry fit like that will uh, show you your mistakes. That has made a really nice clean cut too. Wow, I, I like this old saw. It does a nice, it does a nice job. <laughs> okay, so now we got to do the other side of the frame. But first, I want to put this back together. Somebody that actually does framing for a living right now is probably having an absolute heart attack. Sorry about that. If you go to the hospital, they've got drugs that will help reduce that stress you're probably under right now with watching me try to do a frame which like I said I, I don't I don't do frames I mean this this is not the sort of thing that us woodworkers usually try to tackle or take on so let's see what we can do so even wondering if you could uh, put something on there that would you know separate these two or force them off of each other instead of trying to bump them See how that's doing. Hmm. Looks like it's doing okay. Except for the, except for the corner. And it's still coming along, so. Alright. Just so you don't get the wrong impression, uh, what I'm doing here is I've got pressure on it using the wood bench but not so much pressure that I'm going to spit these things out off the corners. All I'm doing is keeping enough pressure so that the frame is actually held in place for the moment. Uh, yeah, each of these corners is held. I don't have any way to hold these corners and clamp them together, so I'm holding them as tight as I can. And then in turn, I'm going to, like I said, hot glue gun some, la some pieces like this to each corner and just see how that well I just hot glue gunned the bench that was cool and see how this works I don't really know mm -hmm. I think mm. yeah yep I think that'll work so I'll try another one over in this corner and we'll do the same thing. We'll just take some of this vinyl sheeting, and I'm just using uh, metal, actually metal shears, 
to cut uh, cut myself some samples. These are just some samples from Home Depot. So you go to Home Depot, get you some samples, and then you can do this thing. good on the front so I'm gonna go put the painting in here now okay I found some metal junk that I had in the, uh, in the junk old scrap iron stuff yeah that's got that pinched down real nice now okay didn't want to do it but we did this side here same thing Somewhere randomly in the middle, or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's time for the reveal. Yep. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's, have, let's see how this came out. Well, guys, what do you think? Not bad. <laughs> You'd have to be here live, but. Uh, Oh yeah, I think it's beautiful. Yep. And I've got about, let's see, a couple dollars from the yard sale and a couple dollars from the yard sale. And we have a beautiful old ship's painting that we can hang somewhere nautically in the house. So I just gotta put a little something back here to hang it. And she's all set. Hey, as always, don't do this at home. <laughs> always <laughs> but, and uh, thank you today for watching coffee and tools please like please share please subscribe as we I think Mondays will do hack jobs like this uh, every Monday will hack something how about it <laughs> but uh, actually I think this uh, came out okay so it sure was a scary one all right until next time over and out